welcome to Starbucks. What can we get for you today? Like, we'll come out of nowhere with their buggy and I'll back into their buggy. Welcome to Tri Time. We're talking about backing up with authority. I'm scared too. Rachel will run over your butt. Don't walk behind my car. Don't walk behind her car. It's just logical. Hey, during this time while I'm ordering, we're going to start a new trend. Yeah, one second, please. We're going to start a new trend. This is where Tim, Andrew, and Rachel tell dad jokes until we order. Uh, okay, where's Dimitri when I need him? He knows all so the rules. I had an ant farm one Vinci, time, right? And I originally had five ants in it. Well, I just had to add five more three ants. Agave, and now I, have 10 ants. You got it. I don't get that one. Yeah, I got three more orders coming. What you want, Rachel? Uh. What you want, Adrian? Uh, ice green tea. And and an iced green tea, uh, grande sweet. sweet. You want it with water or lemonade? Oh, of course, lemonade. He wants to go with lemonade. He's living dangerously today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to Oh, uh, natural. Can I get a pumpkin spice frappuccino? Oh, such a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought of it. He would like to get a grande pumpkin spice frappuccino. Uh, and and with that, he will turn in his man card. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just, sorry, I'm coming. Just got one more. I'm a grande hot chocolate today. And then I want the ever boring grande hot chocolate. I'm still a man. <laughs> that is it. Okay, I have a dad joke from Dimitri. He texted me one. That is the absolute wrong I like the price of that one, though. The price of that one was legit. That was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you very much. First time we've had solid zeros right on the dollar. There was. She gave me something that had no charge. I was like, I'll take that. Go ahead, dad joke. Well, Dimitri texted me one. Hey, I Dimitri. Because he always has good jokes. He so is said, with us. Um, I said, it says, I have the attention of a goldfish. Seriously, it's been watching me for hours. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. Oh, the one that I was going to say on Wednesday was... Oh, sorry, we forgot. Tickle me Tim Wednesday. It's all good. <laughs> so, who was the best comedian in the Bible? Hey, Samson, so because he brought sorry, the house down. <laughs> that I'm going to put this Gotcha. What about... This. I gotcha. Do right. <laughs> you like this one, Tim? What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> Does Andrew tell one yet? Yes, no. Uh, yeah, he did tell keep one. Keep going until we get all the drinks. Like popcorn. We're yeah. dead joking until we get drinks. It's Every a new tradition. Week I've been eating popcorn. And if you want to donate What's your stuff, favorite I'll dad joke, so. Maddie? <laughs> oh, that's a I bought popcorn dog. at Sam's today. Really? Skinny pop and there's a, in the chips, it's like white cheddar popcorn. Nice. All right. Ask her for a discount. Andrew, do you have another one? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Instagram's failing. Do I have enough to do that? Oh, yeah, you're set. Perfect. Okay, I have another one. No, ma'am. Finally, my winter fat has Thank gone, you. and now I have spring rolls. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that's mine. I have a straw for the green tea Yes. Think about that dad joke. She's still thinking. Think Maddie over here at Starbucks thinking about a dad joke. Uh, horse walks into a coffee shop. Barista says, why the long face? That's my only joke. That's the only one. They never laugh at that joke. That one's common. It's not the After an unsuccessful <laughs> harvest, why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? Wait, what? After an unsuccessful harvest. Okay. You know, harvest, uh, harvest yeah. was not good, right? Yeah, yeah. Why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? I don't know, Andrew. Why did he? Because he had a ton of sick beats. <laughs> Oh, Tim Strappuccino's coming. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. How do you cut the ocean? How do you how do you spice a pumpkin? I don't know. I think I couldn't tell you. Okay, also I literally just looked up dad jokes on Google because I could not think of a good one. Give me one. And our favorite one is I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. Oh, that was good. That was Maddie. Oh, thank you very much. Y'all too. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, that's a new tradition. We're also going to see if the barista is funny enough 
or we'll to, play along. Or we'll play along to give us a dead joke. And so that has been Dead Jokes with Tribe Time. All right, what are we talking about today? Uh, that was kind of fun. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah, where's your man card? You got to turn it back in. I'm sorry. I'll Tim. I'll let you have. You just have to drink it like a man. You have to chew it. Your pumpkin spice frappuccino. <laughs> I'll pumpkin chew the cup. Do you like pumpkin spice? I I don't like. I like it, but not too much. I'll tell you who has a good like pumpkin-ish like fall latte. Who's that? Rakeman's has something called Ooh. the Great Pumpkin. Um, latte. Charlie Brown? Kind of, I guess. But it doesn't taste like the pumpkin spice syrup they put in at Starbucks. It has like very, like, like I don't know, fall pumpkin spice kind of taste. But it has like a hint of a little bit of pumpkin. Like when you walk into the craft stores. And like a very pie. well spiced pumpkin pie rather Ooh. than like straight up like pumpkin out of a can. Or oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is gross. So it's a little bit more like festive. Yeah, this is the, tis the season for pumpkin spice. Exactly. So Tim, give us give us a chance. All right, Tim, tell them what you're drinking. I am drinking. A, we already know because we ordered it, but I just want you to have to admit it. Uh, G R P S F R P. <laughs> grande, oh wait. Grande uh, pumpkin spice. Oh yeah, Grande <laughs> pumpkin spice frappuccino. How's it? How do you like it? It's, it's nice. It's sweet. It's a little too sweet, but it's all good. Because uh, I'm salty sometimes. How's the texture? Is the texture uh, good? Is it? It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's good. Andrew, what are you drinking? Uh, you know, your, your standard green tea. With lemonade. No, it's not your standard green tea. This sucker has lemonade in it. Mm -hmm. That's your standard southern take on an organ green tea. There's the Anna Palma. You know some people have I, trouble saying that? I, I'm a I have Arnold Palmer. I can't. <laughs> That's why I have to make fun of it. That's why I say Anna Palma. <laughs> when you so, work at a restaurant, you have to learn how to say it. Arnold Palmer? There it is. Uh, there, you have to say, say it slow. Say Arnold Palmer. It. Say it. Andrew? One more time. <laughs> he just does. He's like, I ain't even gonna try. I know Arnold what I'm talking about. What are we talking about? Arnold Palmer. So it's a See? Sweet, usually it's a sweet tea mixed with lemonade. Me and the boys, when we would go to uh, Chick fil A, they liked the Arnold Palmer. And that's exactly how we had to say it. I literally, <laughs> because we could not say Arnold. Uh, mm, Arnold Palmer. Palmer. There we go. It is kind of like a tricky. It is. That's why we I say. I think they did that on purpose. Arnold Palmer. That's why he called it an AP. The dance placement. <laughs> it's so good. So tell me, Andrew, is it good? Are you glad? Are you glad you chose lemonade with your drink? Yeah, I'm glad I introduced the basic white girl drink. I'm so, did you say the basic white girl drink? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, if you're still with us at Tribe Time, yes, we're we're just talking about random stuff. And Rachel, your hot chocolate, how delicious is it? It's good. It's good. Is it hot enough? Yeah. Good. Because my Americana is a little lukewarm, but that's okay. They were really cool. They were cool at Frappuccino, so I can deal with my lukewarm. I said they were cool at Starbucks. The people were cool at the, at the window, so. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So what's coming up that we need to talk about? Um, Family Fest is this Sunday. It is this Sunday. October now, we, 30th. now, Rachel, will you give them the rundown? We had a million people sign up, mm -hmm. and that is phenomenal. So can you kind of give them some what's going on for Family Fest that they need to know about? Yes, so you need to show up at the youth room at four o'clock. Oh. Um, Andrew and Tim, and you too? Yes. Or Tim at least, for sure. And we, um, Tribe, we're, we're gonna have like a few games and then face painting, but for those of you who are coming to serve along with us, be prepared. Um, you might not be at our tent specifically. We're just gonna put you where we need you that night. So you're coming to serve the church with the church family um, and the community. So, and what that means is uh, you're there to serve. And so come ready to do whatever and stick with it. Mm -hmm. The whole Don't wander time. Off. Don't wander exactly. off. No running to Chick-fil-A. Yeah. No, can I go slide down the slide and beat the kids down the slide? No, you're here to serve. Um, and that, if you signed up to be a part of serving. Yes. Um, so just wanted you to know that because we really need your help with that. And we we want to play with the kids. We don't want to have to run you down. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. And then be just prepared to be like picked up at around 730. Yes. Um, that'd probably be good. You know, help us clean up and everything. And... Um, that's it. That's basically it. I don't know either. I'm driving around the church parking lot, so everybody basically they're probably going, why is that person driving around the church parking lot? They're in fall break. Yeah, I'm in fall break. Whoa! There is a big red water tower. 
Is that, what, oh. is that a water tower? Yes. Yeah, Why? Water. So water is a fuel for the track. I wonder. Why is it over there when the field's over there? That's fantastic. Because there's not, they, they got to dig up their track. Okay. I think I'm the soccer field gets watered enough. It pretty much was built on a marsh. Yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. I'm sorry. I need to paint something on the side of it, though. That's true. So, we can so it says the future site track and field complex, That's but didn't they just build that playground? Yeah, but they're probably going to move that playground. Oh, so much time. I know. Rachel wasted. Rachel enjoys playing on the playground. So I do. Her hopes and dreams are over. I never had a playground. Now she has to go swimming in the water tank. It's all good. So, Family Fest, you guys know what to do. It's going to be awesome. You can probably tell your folks, your parents, or whoever's picking you up, can pick you up about seven ish or so. Because mm -hmm. it won't take long for us to tell you. Okay, yeah, seven. So, seven. Be fine. Be fine. so what where, else is going where are they going to get picked up at? Oh, that's a good question. What was the question? I don't Probably the youth room. Let's just, let's just plan on the youth room. Okay. Uh, so they'll be making, so parents, if you're watching this and you come to pick your student up about 7.15, they will be back to the youth room. We'll have some folks bring them back. So Around they can find 7. You. Yeah. And we'll even send out text alerts. By the way, random announcement, sign up for text alerts. Yes, please do. It's just that thing. We have like 400 people signed up on our text alerts. We are. I'll just go ahead and tell you this again. If you've watched Tribe Time enough, you need to know that it, the Tribe Ministry of First Baptist we use text alerts better than anybody else because we're best at exactly. it. So just check in with that. What else is coming up, Andrew? Folly Beach. Uh, Folly Beach for the girls. But before that, next Wednesday. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes. Andrew, we, you want to announce it? Andrew. Yeah, this next, or, yeah, next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey. Yeah, so next Wednesday, you're not in the student center. Where well, are we, Andrew? Where, well, Andrew? It's on November second. Just so November you know. 2th. Yeah, you're uh, you're down by the old music house. Down by the old course. music house. Hey, but we can show them on camera. Woo! So we can. Oh. Go ahead. So yeah, so you're there and not in the student center. Yes. Sorry, not. Dress sorry. appropriately. Yes, it will be chilly, and Where? you need to be dropped off out there. You can get there at six. Um. You know, that's usually when we open our doors for tribes. So you can be dropped off at the soccer field, um, volleyball area at 6 o'clock. Make sure you wear a sweater, probably some pants. It might be chilly. Yes, we'll be out yeah. there all night. Wear pants or wear shorts, but make sure you're warm. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, dress code is Philadelphia Eagles only. Philadelphia Freedom. Um, Wait, did you know the Phillies are going to the World Yes, World? Andrew. I thought about you yesterday when I heard the last out. So the Philadelphia Eagles are doing great, yep. and the Phillies are going to do the World Series. Yep, that's and fantastic. Phillies and don't. and for no, November the tooth, uh, this is a random fact. You probably ought to go ahead and make sure you use the bathroom before you come, because exactly. we have limited bathroom access. Out or we can ask Rick Brown. No. Yeah, that'd be funny. Hey Rick, can we use your toilet? Absolutely. So here's I'm going to show you. I'm going to do something that you're not supposed to do in things like this. This is where we're meeting for. November tooth. Y'all ready? Yes. Actually, I can just turn it. Shouldn't I be able to turn it? Yeah. Well, that, what's that right there? All That's right. a picture. I don't want to take a picture. <laughs> I can't see. Right there. It's like where the picnic tables are. There's soccer field, picnic tables, volleyball, and then there's a little house over there. That is that is where we will be for. And if you're, I'm sorry if I made you throw up from the video. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Yeah. So that's where we're going to be the, uh, November the 2th. Um, and so uh, we will sort of have a like, makeshift snack shack set up, yeah, I think. we will. I think um, we're going to have stuff out there, don't you? Yeah, just bring like $5 or like $5 bill or $1 bills. Remember that. Remember, um, Kathy will get you if you show up with a 50 Just like usual, we will still have service. We're going to have yes. worship. Yes, time, music and, and teaching. And then teaching. So it's going to be a great night. We might have a little bonfire and maybe roast some marshmallows. Yes. Um, so. Have lots of activities out there. It'll be kind of dark, but remember, dress appropriately, and we're gonna have a good old time. And so, regular time. So basically, your parents will pick you up out there mm -hmm. at eight. At eight o'clock. Yes. All right. So that'll be fantastic. Um, which also means, if you're at MCA and you're staying late, mm -hmm. need to make that announcement this week. Um, <laughs> we, you probably. Oh, that's a very good question. We'll you figure out what on. to do with you. I mean, if it's possible, you. I mean, we probably picked up and yeah, then come back. You, that might be best. Yeah, we probably. I, I tell you what, if you stay around afterwards and you're staying in the youth room, uh, just come to the youth room. We'll tell you what to do. 
we'll, we'll give you the information. So you can come help us set up or you can hang out and do your homework. Because are you guys going to be working in there probably at three? You're probably not. Uh, there's a good chance. On Wednesday? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Because basically they were updating, doing some different things in the youth room to enhance the sound. Um, this round. This, this stuff. I think yes. we're putting in, uh, aren't we putting in like a... Uh, Skydiving machine. We're gonna do skydiving. We're gonna put a wave pool in. We're putting a wave pool. What else are we putting in, Tim? Um, snow globe, snow machine. Is that right? Snow globe. Kickball. What about one of those machines where the wind blows and money flies? We're all gonna around do you. the money wind machine. What else are we putting in there? Uh, we're gonna put like three million dollars worth of gold bars, and if you can break the glass, you can get it. Okay, so basically we're gonna do stuff where we just give money away. No, we're not doing. That's that. what it sounds like. Uh, no. What you're supposed to do with that money though is you're supposed to give it back. <laughs> No tricks there. What are you We're also going to do an axe throwing uh, booth. Uh, kickball field, a full scale uh, basketball court. Yeah, shooting range. Full scale volleyball court as well. Yeah. That's right. Archery. Archery, archery tag with real arrows and bows. So basically, it's going to be amazing. We're going to do all that in a week. We'll see. <laughs> uh, by the way, before you come, you have to sign a waiver for everything. If you die, you, you don't hold us down. It's all fine. It's all fine. Now, we're going to talk about, I forgot we were supposed to talk about this. What's some other games we could do for Family Fest? Uh, we actually do have, It's. We're, I can tell them, we're doing axe throwing. Sort of. Sort of. It's Lots. blow up axes that stick to this thing. Like magnetic, sweeping. I think it is. Ball throwing on the other side that sticks to the thing. Uh, face painting. And if you're an artist, yep. we want legit face art. I thought about letting them practice this Wednesday. That's a good idea. Uh, and, well, I mean, we'll be, we'll have our faces painted on each other, but. Oh, that'd be great. We can try out three, like, or four different Look, Do you know the people that are signed up? They're on the art? list, yeah. Will you call them and tell them to come early so you can yeah. teach? Oh, that'd be Ooh, so uh, fun. Who are we testing this on? I'll each put, other. Like, the I'll people put, who are doing face painting. That's we'll a great idea. Okay. So that and then we're not somebody, And anybody else that wants it on there. That night, yeah. Okay. That would be phenomenal. So if your student comes home with face paint on, we're just practicing we're for just Sunday practicing. night. Yeah, we're basically. <laughs> <laughs> My kid has a face tattoo. <laughs> so, comes off with water. Oh yeah. Uh, so so what other booths can we do? Um, I know we're gonna do like pump. I know high school's gonna do pumpkin bowling and uh, some other stuff. What's some crazy random things we can do? Human oh, javelin. God. Human javelin. No. You can do a cone flip. Oh, we can do cone flips. Like you do, you know, like the bottle. How do you, yeah. what do you call that? Bottle I can't see Andrew's face. I don't like it when I can't He doesn't see lean it. enough. Eileen! <laughs> you lean! He's leaning on the other side. <laughs> He's so bad. He's so bad. So we can do that. We could do, I thought about doing a gaga thing, but I think it would be too, might, they wouldn't come in and out. They would stay there and play. What if they had to play gaga ball with a pumpkin? Oh my gosh, that would end terribly. <laughs> I, mean, I know it won't work, but would that would be entertaining. <laughs> What if we could get a bow and arrow and put a pumpkin on Tim's head? And then if you Absolutely. shoot and hit the pumpkin, you get a prize. If you hit Tim, you get nothing. You get another prize. And Tim gets bruised. And Tim gets a bruise. Oh no, it'll be a real bow. Oh, he gets wounded. Though. It'll just be a flesh wound. Yeah, minor <laughs> details, let's do it. It's so, okay. It's okay, it'll be fine. I'll have my friends find you. That's <laughs> <laughs> the ones that you don't you don't need to worry about. That's exactly right. You don't need to know them. You don't want to know their name. Don't say their name. See uh, a random blacked out Mercedes <laughs> come down your house. Oh my goodness. Stand there and wave at <laughs> Just wave. Just oh. wave. That's so funny. But we will have some, some games for you and stuff. So parents, if you're watching this, don't freak out. All the games will be user friendly. The kids get uh, candy, your students will do an incredible job of making sure every child that comes to the Family Fest will be loved on, celebrated, high fived, and candied up. Uh, and so it'll be great. They're for yep. ages two and older. Are you serious? Two and older? I mean, you think a baby could throw a little blow up axe? That's like three what we'll do for the baby is we'll shake them up, and if they throw up, they get candy. Okay. This has gone too far. You could, you could basically bring Winnie, your dog, and do like like a petting zoo. <laughs> she would love that. But I'd have to give her a bath after I took her home. So many people would touch her. <laughs> she would love, I can I can bring Louie. Mm -hmm. You bring Winnie. Andrew, do you have Andrew could bring his cats. I think Winnie might eat his cats. I think so. Tim, what kind of pets do you have at your house? I have a Yorkie pool. He could bring 
Did you just call it a Yorkie poo? Is that what Julie was? That's what, your dog? That's what no, Julie part. was demon dog. <laughs> Juman was, Julie's name was Lucy Furhound. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could set up a dog pen and bring we our could. dog. Oh my god. Because my dog is so small, I'll be scared of everyone. No, mine would, mine would love everybody mm -hmm. to sit in the pen. That might be an idea. Um, it's like Gaga Ball. People would never leave. See? It might be better with y'all's dogs. Mine's a little big. She, she might is trying tackle. to get out of... No, she might tackle those kids. Your, your dog has this thing where she comes up hard and then she just goes flop. Mm -hmm. And she's so soft. She is so soft. My cousin has a gecko. We'll think about that. Has a what? A ge gecko. Yes, bring the gecko. Hey, what time is this thing? This could be five. five to seven is the time. So thank you for on. being in a part of our brainstorm. This has made the longest tribe time. But these are some ideas. You never know. I'm not exactly sure if we're going to do any of them. <laughs> But it was sure fun talking about it. So with that said, say bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Say bye, Tim. See ya. Rachel. Bye. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should have. What else should we have in the thing, in the petting zoo? Ooh, alligators. Yeah. How about dragons?